back at the robot roost, and we've added another robot to the collection. Ooh, nine more to go. Oh, Dotley, you do have a hero complex, don't you? Always wanting to save the world. Just to make you happy, the next mission will be even harder. Hmm. Let's take a look at that Transquizzer and select another mission. Click on the inventory. The one thing I'm really surprised about, I don't know if they, this was already brought up or not, but I'm very surprised that Polly hasn't brought up the extra credit question. Let's take a look at that Transquizzer and select another mission. Ah, been there, done that. The invention of writing was the stuff of legend for ancient people. The Chinese, for example, believed it was a gift to Emperor Yu from the magic tortoise he saved from drowning. Today's archaeologists tell a different story about the invention of writing. What did people first write on? They wrote on what everybody writes on, Miss Winkle. Word processors, of course. It's a nice idea, Polly, to think of ancient people with computers. But the truth is even more amazing. The Sumerians were the first to develop writing. They carved the cuneiforms into wet clay tablets and waited for them to dry. Think of each one of those glowing buttons as representing a poor, lost, and scared robot. We can't go back to an old mission when there's so much at stake. Okay, so let's do one more. I don't know if we'll get him. Oh, all the way to the fucking, what's it called? Time machine? The but... yellow start button will play this question. <sighs> well, we'll get there. Bologna, frankfurters, wieners, and salami. They're all types of sausage. Sausage is a mixture of flavorful meat that's wrapped in a casing and cooked. And that's no bologna. <laughs> what was the outside of the world's first sausage made of? Daddy's mother put everything she had into making her homemade sausages. They were so odiferous. Daddy used to say they tasted like her old socks. So I guess that's what sausages are made with. Ugh. Old socks. God damn, dude. Mm, mm, mm. That's the secret ingredient. Old socks have been used for centuries as the casing for sausages. Now you know where socks go when they disappear from the laundry. Oh my god. Imagine that. Sausages made from old socks. What'll Polly think of next? We can put a stop to this. We can sock it to Polly once and for all. Click on the inventory button to put away the transquizzer. Bless you, Polly. Not so fast, Hosebreath. I've got Sockbot on my side, and he's stepping out into history. If you want to follow his soft footsteps, you'll need to find these four clues first. A hot dog, a clock, a piece of coal, and a motorboat. Sockbot, the smelly robot? I can't believe they let him out of his shoe. I wouldn't subject people to his smell. We've got our work cut out for us. Hold your nose. Sockbot? Really? As long as there is a. Careful now, I'm gonna. Does he look like a sock? Now. I'm gonna sense out this area. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna try to sense this area out for clues. Bingo! I've sensed a mission clue in the music hall. There's another mission clue in the professor's virtual collection. That's in the art gallery. For fuck's sake, dude, it's the same shit over and over again. When are we gonna go to the kitchen again? Well, the door's locked again, and there's a new password. Oh, family. I hate to bother him, but... Hey! Beethoven! Please, I'm trying to finish the symphony, but I'll be here if you need help. Okay. So first one is father. Maybe I am good at anagrams, but not complicated ones, easy ones. <laughs> father! Terrific! We're almost in! You have a very interesting definition for what almost means, Botley. Sorry again, my mouse is being a fucking weird. Mother! Man, you're really moving! Mm, I'm trying. I'm having people over later. I really don't want them to come over, to be honest. Child! Great job! You're better at this than I am! I don't know why I create events just to want to back out at the last second. I do it constantly. Baby! Now that you've figured out all the words, you 
just need to unscramble the password. Like, I don't know why I continuously like make plans just to want to cancel them. I never do, but I always want to. You are right! <laughs> the password is family. <laughs> in the door. Let's go. I hate to start this off on a sour note, but Polly. Very funny, Nutley. Now if you want a mission clue, you'll have to play me this song. And I want it played perfectly with, with feeling. feeling. Click on the music tablet to play that too. Got it. The music is all mixed up. If you want to hear how it's supposed to sound, click on me and I'll play it for you. To play the piece as you've arranged it, click on the play button on the instrument selector. All right, let's hear this. Okay, got it. So this goes up here. A tisk, it's a task it. A green and yellow basket. And the rest is right. Way to go! Yay, theater! <laughs> this song is called A Tisket A Tasket. That means, well, nothing at all, because it's a nonsense title to a nonsense song. Oh, shit. Our energy level's in danger. up the mission clue and let's move on got it uh oh we've run out of energy we can't do anything else until we juice up the generator let's go to the basement uh oh we need more energy put the correct batteries in place oh shit okay Ah, uh, subtraction. Not that this is an issue, I'll just subtract one from everything because I'm a cheater. <laughs> it's just a lot easier that way, I don't have the stress. I think it's a pretty good tactic, personally. One ring down, one more to go! Okay, and... You know what, let's do this instead. Let's do a reverse. Reverse! Reverse! Take it back now, y'all. I don't know what my problem is. I haven't even been feeling the vodka hit me or anything. Okay, so that... 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 Oof, come on, baby! There we go. What kind of name do you guys give yourself when you're trying to psych yourself up? Like, I call myself Baby Girl sometimes. Wow, that was fast! Now hold on tight! Wasn't that cool? That was some jolt. We've got 100% energy now, so let's go save the world. Bingo! I've sensed a mission clue in the professor's virtual collection. That's in the art gallery. All right. Okay, you can look at some famous works of art in the virtual collection by clicking on that machine. Or you can click on the painting gallery in the back if you want to get creative. Just make sure you leave everything the way you find it. Not like Polly, always creating a mess. Check out the virtual collection. I sense there's a mission clue there. Got it. Good work, Snotly. 
Now you just have to figure out which of Daddy's great works I hid the mission clue in. We need a clue. My mouth's too dry to talk. Would someone pour me some water? Oh, I know which one it is. I'll pour Polly some water right over her head. Polly is referring to a painting of a kitchen maid pouring water from a pitcher. It's a scene from everyday life. We have to find the right work of art to collect the mission clue. Mrs. Beasley? You're looking for a scene from everyday life. A kitchen maid is pouring water from a pitcher. Now choose the correct category, then select one of the professor's works of art to view it on the digital display. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I just realized Mrs. Beasley is shaped like a paintbrush. Just thought I'd mention, because I think I just noticed it for the first time. Yeah, I'm gonna stop after we rescue this next robot. It's not that I'm tired, it's more just I have other stuff to do. And how long have I been recording for now? Um, an hour and a half, it looks like, and people are gonna start arriving in like two hours. So, yeah. The artist who painted this- We know, we know. Notice the light spilling in from the window and the water spilling into the bowl. Jan Vermeer was a Dutch painter who found intense beauty in scenes of everyday life. Some artists paint kings and queens. Vermeer painted an ordinary kitchen maid pouring water from a pitcher. Okay, since you're so smart, let's see you solve this. You didn't think I was going to let you off that easily, did you? Of course not. There she goes again. You've played this puzzle before, so you should have no trouble this time around. This is a puzzle of homonyms. Homonyms are words that sound the same, but are spelled differently and have different meanings. Okay. This will be a little bit challenging, but just a little bit. Um... So far, so good. Okay. I actually really like these kind of games. They should have just left me back in third grade. <laughs> I would have fared so much better in third grade. <laughs> it's the last time that I really felt smart, but the thing is, I am a smart person. I've just been doubting myself for so long. It's just ridiculous, really, like, how much I've been doubting myself. Now grab the clue, and we're out of here! We're out of here! Okay, let's do this. Oh my god, that's so cute. Is that Botley on there? It looks like it. Fantastic! This floor's empty. Let's try another one. Yes, Great. sir. I've got a strong reading in the professor's biosphere. Ugh. I'm gonna fucking cry. Oh, please don't let the game fucking end right now. Because Biosphere is the one that always fucked it up for me. Oh yes! I'm definitely detecting a mission clue hidden inside the Biosphere. What do you say? Should we launch and explore? Just click on the launch button. Might as well, right? We're underground again. Let's blast up to the surface. Okay, got it. Ah. <sighs> We're at 750 points, so which means we're gonna make it into the time machine, no problem. It makes me kind of want to finish the game just fucking today. And then all I have to do is just edit <laughs> like crazy. Um, but I, I just... It's not that I don't want to. I want to. It's just, again, I have shit to do. I really want to write up my invoices and be finished with that. Plus, I have to charge my phone because I'm gonna be playing... Um, I don't know if I said this or not, but I'm having people over to watch Rat Race. Because there's some people in my friend's group who apparently have never seen Rat Race before, and that's a crime. You'll need a nap to get this question right. Which animal sleeps for a long time during the summer to avoid the heat? A ground squirrel, a mosquito, a brown bear. Did you say summer? I knew you'd get that okay, one. Okay, good. Okay, obviously it's not a crime, but it's a really good movie and it's a classic. People should know what it is. Try this one, Rockley. What do you call a copy of a living plant or animal preserved in rock? Coal, a fossil, or a sculpture? Why did she say coal first? Everyone knows I that. I find that very strange. That she put coal first. Like, usually she reads it from top to bottom and then she went middle, top, bottom. I don't know. Kind of odd. Just saying. I love this prickly question, but that's because I already know the answer. 
Which plant has sharp needles to keep animals from eating it? A daisy, a mango tree, a saguaro cactus. Oh, my back hurts. Big deal, you got one right. I love that we're already at 810 points. Oh my god, that's just brilliant. I love not having to play extra games. Ugh, that makes my day. Hey, Potley, are you sweating yet? Watch out, you don't want to get rusty. Which plant is named after its ability to store water? The eucalyptus tree, the barrel cactus, the giant sequoia. The barrel cactus. Yeah, yeah, so you got it Mm-hmm, because right. I'm fucking amazing. Okay, so this is going to be the fucking desert then. Nice navigating, but this question's sure to drive you out of your mind. Which tree can only be found in the southwest part of the United States? An apple tree, a palm tree, or a Joshua tree? Wait till next time! Sweet! So here we are at the desert. And here we can rest our weary little bones. Water source located. A hey, nice landing! Click on a key on the console to open the box. That was nice work. Store the clue in your inventory and move on. 